Hello everybody, this is Smiter135. Welcome back for some more Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. Even though this totally is not like the second video and this is totally like the first recording first video, you know, totally shut up. And eh. main control system rebooted automatic system restoration. Still alive. Even when you're dying, I'll be still alive. Simultaneously installing new system. All system renational complete. I have to return. Welcome. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is gonna be good. This is a flying shooter game, kind of. Like, Galaga, I guess. <laughs> it's not like Rogue Squadron in the fact that you fly around in a third-person or first-person perspective shooting everything down. It's a little different, but, you know, I'm still going out with the whole space theme. As you can see, those passenger ships and civilian ships are being shot at. And theirs is us. We're that yellow ship. We are the ship Nebulous. Although, I don't actually know what the ship is called. I just call it the Nebulous. Why? Because. So, it drops us off, which is that red ship. And we go into battle to defend the civilian ships. However, being the awesome person we are, we're just going to go straight into the ships and just freaking self-destruct in the middle. And survive. No, we didn't self-destruct. It's actually just one of our missions. I mean, yeah, one of our missions. Self-destruct. One of our uh, weapons, actually. Um, options and change the difficulty. Regular, yeah. Sound, stereo, monorail. Doesn't matter. Button control, control stick. Score, password. Meh. Let's go ahead and start in normal mode. And we have three ships. The 98 Wisteria 98... Venidium, Venidium, I always pr mispronounce that, um, F-98 Lathyrus, um, the Wisteria uses a wave gun as a GB bomb, and system name Annihilator, um, the F-98 Venidium is system name, um, dang it, what is it called, oh, Arbitulator, uh, uses a 55mm Vulcan cannon, and a firebomb as its X-arm. The F-98 Lathyrus, codename Vanguard, or system name Vanguard. Uh, equipment is a laser gun. The EX is a giant laser. Or mega laser, as it's called. <coughs> as you can... <coughs> as you can tell right here, there's, um... The green ship is obviously inferior to the blue ship, and everybody always uses the blue ship. But let's use the green ship, even though it, like, stinks. Mission 1. Rumbling. Mission 1 Rumbling. 2098. July 10th, Realistic Simulations in Space, Abraham 2. Oh, and I accidentally skipped, like, the thing. Yeah, I was planning to go for a Master difficulty, but I figured, well, doing Master difficulty, eh, it's not gonna be fun. Either for me or you. So I just went ahead and did normal, regular. Um... All that basically changes is that beginner you start with nine lives and the ships don't really shoot you as much. Like there will be some that are programmed to shoot the same in every single difficulty, but like some ships won't fire, and uh, that's generally it. And there's power ups are more plentiful. And uh, in normal, it's just you start with three lives. Ship shoot you is normal. It's just generally nothing really much. To scoff at or anything, and uh, and master, you start with two lives, and uh, there's two or one lives you start with. Um, point is, you start with like about the same or maybe less lives than you do now, and then um, every single time you destroy a ship that is a little far away from you, like probably that far away from like the ship I just destroyed the first one um, if you're far away from it you will on death they will like release like a, a yellow shot which will just point in the direction that you kill it so if you're standing northwest from something and you kill it then um, well not maybe not northwest but like southwest then it will point to the southwest before it like shoots or like once it's shot, it will point to the southwest. Something like that. I'll show you at the end. 
and um, yeah, and it's generally harder because of those things. And we're on our tertiary upgrade, so we reached the boss, the Duos Core version 3.3C. And as you can see at the bottom, the red is what it's saying, the green is our ship. Green is our ship, I'm pretty sure it's our ship, or maybe it's our CO. But there's the the rolling, which I haven't shown at all yet. Because I've just been dodging everything, because I'm awesome like that. Except for the laser. You just reflect stuff back at you. It's like doing a barrel roll. And what I kinda like is when you actually do that little rolling thing, your icon kinda flashes for a couple seconds. Watch. You see how it flashes? Yep. And as you can see, this training simulation is all errored and stuff. As you can tell from the background where it's this system. Um, here is our primary um, attack with the X arm, which we use by pressing B. Ouch. And uh, let's just kill him with the secondary thing. Because each um, ship has a... I guess you could call it a spread X arm attack and a focus X R X yeah X R attack. Um, you know what? Quit calling it X. Just call it E X. So you have a spread E X attack and you have a focus E X attack. Obviously, the giant ball of lightning was the spread E X attack, and the giant like green wave laser thing was um, your focus E X attack. And obviously at the end you're going to get a score, so players remaining, EXs remaining, um, rolling, how many times you roll, max hit, enemy max bonus, and boss max hit bonus. So basically the max hit are those numbers that appear at the top left, you know when it's flashing green and stuff like that. It's just how long you've been hitting the enemy. And so we're beamed up and off to stage 2. Corrosion I think.